holiday capoeira, English, we would say the circle is where capoeira lives, where all the action takes place. But also the hall, they'll say it's a small world preparing you to the big world. You see the culture, you see the ritual, you sense the spirituality of capoeira. Any situation, circle is something very rooted into the African culture. No matter what you do, dance, gathering, always the circle. And uh, since capoeira has its roots in Africa, you know, capoeira is done in a circle, and the circle is called the hoda. Also, you see violence, head, head in dance. You see cleverness in very, um, in a very clever way. And that's why you see the two players actually, you know, uh, dialogue. Of course, we have in a hoda, of the circle, we have uh, uh, the instruments. That's a wake up with uh, really the capoeiristas. That's where they are through the rhythm so they can express themselves in a hoda. We have the three bedding bowls, we have the pandeiros, we have the conga, we have the singing, the hand clap, and that is set the energy and the mood of, for the capoeirista to play capoeira. Every hoda is led by either a capoeira mestre or a higher chord, I would say a contra mestre, or a professor, or even an instructor. No one below that level should control a hoda, should lead a hoda. You have to have the control. Who really leads the hoda is the main instrument that we call baiting bow. It's very much the soul of the art form. It's, uh, it's the, we have three bedding bowls, the gunga. The gunga, whoever plays the gunga is the person who leads the hoda. But of course, the presence of the master is really important in the hoda. Uh, when I was growing up, hoda was not as, as big as nowadays. Today, I've been to hoda, no exaggeration. It's so many people, I would say I've been to hoda, I've seen about 70 to 100 people around the hoda where when I was growing up was maybe 10 or 20, no more than 30 people. Sometimes I'm talking about capoeirista, but of course, if we do capoeira on the streets, we get a very big audience because people start coming around and watching the hoda. That time was more expectator watching the hoda than actually capoeirista, but nowadays, is more capoeirista than actually expectator watching the hoda. So everyone has an opportunity and the chance to play in the hoda, especially when it's a lot of higher chord. A students, a lower chord student, cannot move, remove a professor, a contra mess or a mess. If it's a presence, if we have a presence of a, lots of professors in contra mess, it makes it very difficult for a lower chord to play in the hoda. And that when the mess comes in, and says, you know, this is going to happen, so make sure everyone has its opportunity and chance to play. Okay, that's what Capoeira really is all about, bringing people together, teaching people a good sense of working together, teamwork. That's what really Capoeira is. And also, Besides many other things. Uh, just to add what you said, Mestre, uh, every Capoeirista you know, should be able to not only go into the holder and you know, be able to kick and flip, you know, be able to play capoeira. Uh, play capoeira. Every capoeira has to be able to sing and play all the instruments. That's what makes, a, in a way, a complete capoeira player. You know, that's when you, you're on your own. You're in school, you learn techniques. The teacher teach you this and teach you that. But when you come to capoeira, it's you. It's you express yourself. And if you're naive in the hoda, you'll be naive in life. And that's where we call the hoda.